It is one of the biggest shows on TV. But just what goes into bringing Game of Thrones to life? The answer might lie here, in an ordinary looking warehouse in Dartford. This is BGFX Studios, where fantasy is turned into reality. So the character we have here is uh, One One the Giant, who's played by a creature performer called Ian White, who's about seven foot uh, one in, in, in height. This particular character is, uh, is quite an extensive uh, sort of process. So the eyebrows, they're all completely individually inserted and they're all, it's all pre-curled hair. If you shoot to 20 days, he'd have a new face piece each day and we would have to basically punch 20 pairs of eyebrows. It all begins with drawings like these provided by the show's art team and body casts are often taken of the actors to get their shape. The painstaking process can take months to complete and even then challenges remain. I think the most complex uh, makeup uh, we've had to do were the character of the Children of the Forest, which was the, for the current season. And we had six girls who were covered in uh, full body prosthetics, head to toe. And because the girls and they're completely covered in prosthetics, they're pretty much naked. Um, so we couldn't get a group of guys to stick all the prosthetics on. So we had to find teams of girls who could stick, stick all the pieces on. So each character, uh, each of the six, would have um, five girls applying the makeup each day. The team here have worked on all kinds of films and chances are you've seen their work. So for it was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, we had a huge sequence where we had um, lots and lots of goblins. So we had lots of little people wearing extensive uh, big rubber makeups. A team of something like about 120 people, and we were in a huge marquee, and it was a massive undertaking. I don't think we've ever worked in a, such a big crew before. So next time you get stuck into a Game of Thrones box set or a Potter film, you'll know exactly how the magic was made. Lift off. If you don't represent women in politics,